Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Red EDC. Well, you know, it's time to kind of give you my final thoughts on these three of the newer knives from O-Knife. Um, now the Guar and the Borzoi, they're the latest release. Of course, maybe three weeks, a month or so ago, maybe not even that long. Yeah, probably about then. And then, of course, the Mini Drever, it comes from the previous release. So it's been out a little bit longer than the other two. But my first chance of getting my hands on these and super, super stoked. Thank you so much to Tim for sending these out and giving me the opportunity to check them out. Tim has been very, very generous with the O-Knives and the O-Lights, for that matter, um, to the channel. So really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much, Tim. So basically what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of give you a basic rundown of all three of these. We'll do our size comparisons and all that other good stuff. And then we'll kind of, I mean, as you can see here, we've got quite a size range. And when it comes to this boy right here, the Gower, you know, I thought the Zilla was a big knife. Yeah, no. <laughs> we'll see just how not big um, it was. So I tell you what, we're just going to go right down the line. We're going to start with the little guy and we're just going to move it up. Now this is the mini Drever. Now I'm going to bring in the actual Drever because I know I said this in my unboxing, but really to me, the mini Drever could be its own knife. So there it is with the Drever. Now there's obviously uh, quite a few differences between these two knives. The handles are different shape. They're obviously, you can see there on the mini Drever, you've got the way the liner comes through, which I love. I actually, I love that idea. You get a little bit more pop of color on that liners. Great idea. I mean, the blade shape is Rel <laughs> relatively the same. I mean, we've got a nice belly in it, and I do really love the Drever, although I will say my Drever has developed a decent amount of lock rock, and that pivot's pretty tight. So I I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyway, um, the handles are pretty, as you can see there, the mini Drever's handle comes down to more of a teardrop shape where it's rounded off on the Drever, it's a little bit wider. The hole cuts are a little bit different. So, I mean, for me, you've got a little bit more pronounced cut here on top. I mean, yeah, I get it. They they went with mini and large. Fine. But really, it could be its own. It really could be its own knife. All right, I'm, I'm done with that. Done with that. Let's talk about this little guy. So, overall, what do you got? We well, got Black G10. We talked about those blue liners that really give you a nice pop of color along with the other uh, blue accents. The pivot, the thumb studs. You know, you do have a black clip and black hardware elsewhere. So, I, I dig that. I don't, I like the fact that they kept these black um, and just put the pop of color in a different location. Now, obviously, you can see that Tim has tied on a blue lanyard, which is cool. Um, Blue liners, I like that, but I really like those cutouts, and it's even on the clip side. So it just gives you that little extra pop of color. That's why I think I'm glad they stuck with the black on the, the body screw. So, yeah, that's just my opinion. Now, everything, that these are still built by Kaiser. Everything is chamfered off very nicely. It, it's done very well otherwise. And the, the carry, it the clip is deep carry, and it has recessed screws, so... Very good. Um, I think the body screws are a little bit more pronounced because you have that milling going on there. But it is a flipper. Good little detent on this guy. Nice. Jumps out there. Now for me, it's about a three and a half finger knife. But you guys know, um, that's I, I'm not mad at that because my pinky kind of locks in behind it. And I've just got a super, super wicked good grip on this thing. Wicked good. Wow. I'm not from the Northeast, am I? Um, the spine gives you a great landing pad for your thumb. I really, really like that as well. Good, generous sharpening trail. That is, oh, mm, no. <laughs> sharpening trail. Um, thumb studs, it flips out really easy with the thumb studs as well. I cannot, I don't think, I'm not very good flipping with these thumb studs. Plus, the flipper tab. A finger gets in the way somewhere. No, we're not even going to try it. But I love the blade shape. D2 on this one. You can see, or no, N690. I'm sorry. This one's N690. I apologize. The other two are D2. 
there you go mini driver there's your numbers but it's a fun little knife now i'll tell you what we're gonna do some size comparisons and i'm just gonna throw out my normal size comparisons knives and i'll kind of give you a size comparison of all three really quick just because i have these other two knives already out there so there you go that's how the mini driver stacks up against the pm2 and the bug out obviously it's a small knife we're going to bring out the borzoi real quick just so we can get an idea of a size comparison there's your size Our overall length is pretty good but this one's a nice little slender i don't know office if you want to call it kind of like the ceo and then you got this bad boy we got to make some room here holy smokes would you look at that yeah this thing's golly this thing is big i even do i have to yeah there you go zoom out a little bit to even get it fully on the camera so obviously that sucker the gore is a big big knife and i'm just gonna throw the zilla up here real quick because the zilla is a bigger knife but it's a bigger knife that i really liked i like the way it fit in my hand and so yeah the guar even makes the Zilla look small. And this is a bigger knife for me. This is a very bigger knife for me. So, but it feels really good in hand. So, all right. So, we'll get these two back out of here for now. Just wanted to do some size comparisons. So, let's look at some specs on the Mini Driver. So, what do you got? Overall, you're looking at right about six inches. You're looking at about three and a half on the handle and two and a half on the blade and then your cutting edge you're looking at about two and a quarter on your cutting edge your grip length you're looking at mm, right about three inches as i said it's about a three and a half finger knife for me so but with the the way that teardrop kind of shapes my pinky lays down there really nice and i do get a solid 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 grip let's get a weight on it I'll show you the weight on all of these real quick since we just got the scale broken out. We might as well. So the Mini Driver, 2.6. That's not bad at all. Let's check out the Borzoi really quick. 2.6 as well. Interesting. Very interesting. It's a little slimmer. And then, of course, the Gore. 7.1. Oh, my goodness. What's the Zilla? I forgot. Let's, I'm just going to do it. 5.4. It's almost two ounces more than the Zilla. Gee, many Christmas. <laughs> That's crazy. As I said, you do have a deep carry clip on this one. Um, it carries really nice. I would definitely consider that a secondary carry for me, unless I was around home on the weekend, you know. Um, it, it's pretty close to primary size for me. Um, I, I like more of that three and a half inch handle, you know, a little bit longer blade, of course, three, three and a quarter inches for everyday carry, but for this one around the house or on the weekend, yeah, I would definitely, definitely carry that. It's going to open your packages. It's going to do pretty much all your EDC tasks that you're going to want to do. So overall, good little knife. It feels good. Good seems to have really good build quality on it. Now I'm interested. Like I said, my full size driver has got lock rock issues. Does that mean this one will? Absolutely not. Does that mean any of these other will? Absolutely not. Uh, but just an idea, I, I'll probably keep in touch with Tim just to ask him, you know, what what he thinks and how. I just asked him about the driver, as a matter of fact. Now, what do we have here? This is more of a slender, kind of that CEO type knife, if you will. This is the Borzoi. It's a nice, slim, some people might call it a suit or an office carry, which, you know, I mean, it is a front flipper. So, I mean, doing that in an office might freak some people out. I don't know. Uh, but overall, again, you've got G10 going on. You have that nice pop of blue in your accents. you got the lanyard hole there. Very nice. Again, a deep carry clip with recessed pocket clip screws. It is not reversible. And just like the driver, not reversible, unfortunately. I am sorry for my lefty friends. Um, you do have a frame lock here. Again, everything is chamfered out. Really nice. And that's definitely a deep carry. Look at that. I mean, that stands up there. So it's going to carry deep. So I'm not opposed to that. 
you know, some people don't like deep carry, and this one they might not really like. Um, your flipper tab sticks up there pretty good. I mean, it's pretty easy to flip, even for my uncoordinated self. It's a pretty easy. Um, I can't. No, nah, I'm. I'm not going to be able to get over the top because I'm going to end up putting pressure on that lock bar, and it's just not going to happen for me. And then front flipping is pretty much about your only option. You know, you don't really have much purchase anywhere else, not even the slow roll. So it's pretty much a front flipper only, unless you have a lot bigger hands and can get over the top and keep your mitts off that lock bar. You know, if it, if it works for you, awesome. Great. It's a front flipper for me, plain and simple. That's what it is. But nice. There you go. D2 blade on this one. Nice slender blade. Nice swedge. Um, gives you a decent landing pad for your thumb. I mean, it has jimping, but it's back here. So my hand's kind of squished up trying to do that. My natural lay of my thumb, it, it pretty much misses the jimping altogether. So, I mean, now, are you going to be doing a lot of hard work with this one where you're going to need jimping? I don't see you really doing a lot of hard work with this knife. Could you? Sure. Could you feather stick with it? Yeah, you probably could. Um, but it's not made for that. It's it's just not. But you could use it for that. There's some more. Maybe. There you go. Borzoi. Some numbers. I like the blade. I like the slender. I like the slenderness of the carry. It tucks away in the pocket really, really nice. Um, would I call this a primary carry? Um, I mean, yeah, it's going to do all your EDC tasks. It's got a long enough blade uh, to do really pretty much anything I want it to. So what do we got? Overall, you're looking at about seven and a quarter inches. Your handle length is right about four and a quarter, which is going to give you pretty much right about a three-ish inch blade. Cutting edge is pretty much right on that three inches. Um, you don't really have a flipper tab to get in the way. So, I mean, you can really get up here and that extends your grip length out to about four inches if you wanted to get up that high. I mean, obviously, I have plenty of room even to get back where the finger groove is. I mean, I still have plenty of room. So, a decent size handle overall. Like we said, it's about 2.6 ounces. Uh, you already saw your... Carry overall length, it's pretty equivalent to, say, a bug out. And just a little smaller than your PM2. Uh, again, everything is chamfered out really nice. I mean, the nice thing about this one is it just tucks away in the corner of your pocket. If you're going to pocket carry this, it disappears. Now, it is a little bit deeper. Did I didn't, because it is so slender and it carries so deep, I did have, I wouldn't say an issue getting it in and out of the pocket. But, you know... You got to grab a little more just because it does sit so deep. Um, other than that, you know, I'd, I'd say it's it's a decent EDC knife. It is. And I took it to work. I mean, I did do a little bit of rope with it. It's not quite as much knife in the hand when I'm doing something like that. A little bit, I'd like a little bit thicker handle, you know, like something like this, you know, or or this. You know, just a little bit more grip in the hand if I'm going to be doing that type of work. But overall, I mean, it's it's a well-made knife, again. Um, now, I'm saying these are well-made knives, and I said that about the Drever, too. And my, my Drever had a little bit of lock rock to start out with. And it seems like it's gotten worse. If you guys have any of these O knives, um, particularly the Drever, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. Have you had any lock rock issues with yours? Um... I'd be interested to know. Interested to know. And then, of course, oh my goodness. This thing is just a beast of a knife. Holy smokes. Yeah, now, uh, right at first, I thought this was like G10, but it's not. It's a kind of a high-polished paper micarta. Um, the accents that you get, now white's definitely not my thing unless it's a white bone holiday. Or Lucky 13 or 1929. But, okay. No, white is not my favorite. White is not my favorite. But, overall, you've got open construction on this. A couple of standoffs. You do not really have a spot for a lanyard. I mean, you could. Let's see there. I'm trying to see. 
yeah, you could tie one off on that post if you really wanted to. Um, I know most people that use lanyards do it on smaller knives because of size. Well, this is not a smaller knife by any means. Um, you do have not a deep carry clip, but it is that loop over clip, recess screws. You do have a little bit sticking out of your pocket there. Huge, generous finger choil. Ah, huge is probably an overstatement, but you definitely have a really nice forward finger choil to choke up on it. And I mean, this thing will work for you. Don't get me wrong. This thing works. And I, I could actually chop rope with this, not actually cut it. I mean, yeah, it cuts fine, but this is more of a chopper. I mean, holy cow. And, you know, I really like the touch how they made this dimpling. Um, not only on the handle, but it actually travels up the blade too. I think that's a nice kind of little accent. D2 on this blade as well. Gore. Some more numbers. You got your dimpling on both sides. Big old, big old cleaver blade. I mean, goodness gracious. That thing is just, wow. Got the O-Knife logo. You have that on all of them. Now, my overall on this one, I mean, you saw the weight. I mean, you're over seven ounces. Um, this is not something I would EDC. It, it, it's just not. It, it's, I would have to have a very purposeful task for a knife this size. I don't care to carry knives this big. I'll carry this. I mean, it's almost two ounces lighter. And this is as big as I ever want to go. I mean, this guy takes up some room in your pocket. And I mean, so does the Zilla. I'm not going to, I can't, I'm not going to cheat it. The Zilla does take up some room in your pocket as well. You know, but that kind of that cleaver blade, it kind of stands out just a little bit prouder and kind of pushes it out just a little bit further in your pocket. It's comfortable. There's not a thing wrong with it. It's it seems to be built well. It's pretty darn comfortable in hand. The swell there gives you a really nice. It has actually a really nice feel in hand. Definitely, it's not going to carry as deep. But for the, it's just and holy and it drops. Oh my goodness! I mean that much steel coming down. Yeah, you got to get your finger out of the way. Flips pretty darn good, actually. Now. It's, I'm shaking it, I'm shaking it pretty hard, and it's not wanting to come out, which is pretty surprising as big as that blade is. I thought for sure it would let go. Now, if I kept doing it and really, really gave it a good, I'd probably hit the table, but it would probably come out just because of the, how big that blade is. But it's doing a, that detent's doing a pretty good job of holding it back. Honestly, I think it is anyway. Um, the one thing about this handle, the more I handle it, the more, the best word I could come up with is tacky. And I, I handed it to one of the guys at work. You know, I got his thoughts on it. And he, without any prompting, said the exact same thing. Um, after you hold it a little while, it almost feels like it's, he's a, he said sticky. <laughs> but it's not, it's not bad. It's not sticky. It just, I don't know. It's really, really it's different. That's what it is. It's different. I don't think I've ever really felt anything um, that's actually come out like that. I guess I haven't had any like highly polished paper micarta that I can remember or have has even acted like this. I know I've had paper micarta before, but it just hasn't acted like this. So it's very, very interesting. Um, like I said, all of them are pretty well made. Centering's good. Lock up. That's about 25-ish percent. We'll take a look at that on these guys too. Centering's pretty darn good. Again, we'll check the lock up. That's pretty hard to see. Now this one is kind of light, as you can see there. I mean your lock up, but it's it is and it isn't because your lock bar is so thin. I mean, still you're getting no, it's not really that light at all though. Once you really take a look at it, I mean, you're looking at 30, 35%. So it's just that, that the blade is thin and the lock bar is thin. I think that's kind of what gives you that overall feeling. Oops, I flipped that out. This one is really hard to see. 
I'm going to give it about 30% as well. 30 to 35. Centering. Really good. Now, I know there's a lot of guys out there that really like the larger knives. I mean, like Peter, a Therapeutic Edge, guys like that. You know, Shane Gable's got a little bit bigger hands. Uh, you know, the Guar might be a knife for you if you like to carry something like that. Just, it's not my thing. I mean, I'm more, obviously, the Drever. I mean, this is pushing the limit for me, honestly. But it was just so darn comfortable. You know, and then obviously, you know, you guys know. I, I'm in with the, the bug out size knives or the deck this guy the deca you know it's that's that's the size of knife i like to carry for edc so but what do you think what what's your thoughts give me your thoughts on each one of these where do you see one of these fitting in or not fitting in to your carry maybe the guar is just too big you're like no nah, i'm out you know the mini driver is a fifth pocket the borzoi is i see that as a suit carry and the guar is just out you know, or just the opposite. Man, the mini driver is too small. I'm not really into the whole suit thing. So the boar is always kind of out. But I love me a big old honking knife. So the guar, that's for me. Let me know down in the comments. Sorry, guys, this has been a little bit longer one. But I just kind of wanted to cover these three kind of all together. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them the best I can for you. And once again, thank you so much, Tim, for getting these out to me and just giving me the opportunity to check them out. I really, really do appreciate it. So hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Have a fantastic rest of your week. And like, subscribe, leave me that comment. You know I love talking to you. Until next time, I'll talk to y'all later, guys. Bye-bye.